The courtroom heard a key witness testimony this morning on day two of a hearing in the Walmart shooting capital murder case. This comes as the defense is alleging several acts of misconduct by the district attorney's office. ABC 7's Brianna Pettis joins us live from downtown El Paso with more on what was said. Brianna. Yeah, Paul, in the nearly five hour long hearing, we heard from five witnesses who took to the stand. Each were questioned on allegations that the defense says violated Patrick Crucius's rights. The defendant once again sat next to his lawyers as they questioned witnesses. The first was Claudia Hernandez, a paralegal for the district attorney's office. Yesterday, former assistant DA Loretta Hewitt testified Hernandez listened to recorded jailhouse phone calls between Crucius and his lawyers that ended up in the DA's possession. Today, Hernandez admitted hearing those phone calls after her supervisor instructed her to. Her supervisor is currently assistant DA John Briggs. It is the case listen to four phone calls, but you listen to the same phone call multiple times. Is that right? Yes. She said she didn't hear the substance of the conversation and did not tell Briggs about the calls. Next, the defense called Briggs to the stand. While the defense says this was a violation of Crucius's rights, Briggs argued attorneys are aware they are being recorded and are choosing to waive the attorney-client privilege while making those calls. Calls coming out of the jail uh, are recorded. And everybody knows that. In fact, at the beginning of the phone call, it says this phone call is being recorded. The defense also pressed Briggs on his possession of visitation logs. The logs included the names of experts who visited Crucius in jail. The defense claims those logs would give prosecutors leverage on their strategy. When at this time, the district attorney's office is not entitled to know who their experts are. I see your concern, uh, but no, you're not entitled to keep that information secret. Now, D.A. Bill Hicks said that he had no comment on today's hearing, but he did say that he thought it was a good day for the state. The next hearing is set for December 11th. For our reporting in front of the county courthouse, Brianna Perez, ABC7. Okay, we'll wait until then. Thanks, Brianna.